Now, I told y'all years ago when I created my SBW channel, I said black women believe that they look manly with their natural hair. They don't believe that they look as feminine as other women. But ask yourself, you don't look feminine compared to who? Other women. And how did you reach that conclusion? That you don't look feminine? Listen to what this woman says. This was uploaded around four months ago, something like that. Long after I created that channel. First of all, you know it's not the same. White women bleaching their hair or straightening their hair is not the same as what we do. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. So I know the sister's going to pretend they don't understand what I'm saying. This woman talked about how she had a head full of natural hair. Most black women do not have long hair. They do not have long natural hair. Black hair does not grow. It does not grow at the same uh, speed as other races. If you are one of the unicorns where you, you can cut your hair. Now, I don't know what she's talking about. I've seen an endless number of black people whose hair grow very long. Pretty much all black people and uh, people in general. Black people with long hair, they usually start growing at a very young age. Your hair does grow. Your hair don't grow because you always pulling on it, snagging on it, sewing it up and trying to hide it. If you ask me. And if your hair don't grow that fast on average, who cares? Only you, because you're insecure. Uh, one day and in two months or three months, you got inches. You, you know you're a rare breed. When we cut our hair, that's it. It's going to take a little while for it to grow. Who, who cares about long hair anyways other than y'all? Y'all are so much the product of other races of people and what they view as acceptable and beautiful. That is a major, major turnoff. Why are y'all so pressed about what other people say and think? Good Lord. Damage or undamage? Drinking water or not drinking water? Why do you think one of the major ways to make money is to sell black women growth oils. Even from Madam CJ Walker to right now, you want to make a quick buck, sell a growth oil. Our hair does not grow like that. It doesn't. And I'm going to go here. I, I do not look feminine with natural hair. You heard that. So if she don't look feminine with natural hair, then no other black woman looks feminine with natural hair. This is what she's saying. And I said years ago that this is what they think. Now, let's continue. Then coupled with the fact that the hair doesn't grow as fast. Uh -uh. And what, let me ask you a question. When they think that, and this is what they think that they don't look feminine. You don't look feminine compared to who? You look feminine compared to black men. But these women, these black women, they're comparing themselves to other races of women. So they view femininity as a product of other races. It's something that you can only attain naturally from other races. Hence, the swirl movement and the passion behind it. Passion behind wanting good hair and, you know, wanting to intermix for the, you know, benefit, what they see as a benefit of having kids with good hair. No, some women have the confidence. They have the beauty 
to be able to pull off a short natural, I do not. No, 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 no. Those beautiful women you talking about, they also feel that they look more masculine with a natural hairstyle. You look at them and you say, oh, you look nice with a natural hairstyle. But if you put a Becky wig on her, you're going to say that she looks even more attractive. Black women like her, they believe that all black women has their beauty enhanced when they put on a Becky wig. When they uh, put on a Ling Ling wig. This is what they think. They believe that it maximizes their beauty and femininity. Which tells you what? That they measure beauty and femininity by how, by how much they can look like other women. That's the height of insecurity. That is the height of an inferiority complex. When the mothers have an inferiority complex this deep, the whole race gets touched by it. For whatever reason, black men are not nearly as touched by this inferiority complex because we have stayed natural since the 70s. They haven't. And in a really, it's like a confession from them that they don't view black men's genes, black men's DNA as positive. They view it as a detriment to your attractiveness as a female. They view short hair on black men as acceptable because they view our natural hair as masculine, as manly, right? I do not. And I think most black women do not. They do not. See? No, she means all. And the fact is, this Becky wig she got on now is not helping her appearance at all. It's accentuating her African features even more. And it's her African features and her African look. I'm saying African, but black, whatever you want to call it. I don't like to say black because there are people who are not really black that have really dark skin. She's trying to, you know, sort of dampen her black features. But no, this Becky wig brings out your big nose. It draws even more attention to your dark skin, your large lips, and large nose. It brings even more attention to it because now you look awkward. Because people see this hair, they expect to see fine features. That's what y'all don't understand. And when they don't see these fine features, sharp features, you look funny. You still look like an other. You have not meshed in to the non-black female sisterhood. But you know what? Honestly, in my mind, and I believe that in their mind, they believe that they have. As long as they've got those women's hair, they're that step closer to looking like those women. Again, y'all pedestalize other races of women. So it makes sense for your sons to view those other women as a better pick. With natural hair. Then coupled with the fact that the hair doesn't grow as fast. Uh-uh. No. Some women have the confidence, they have the beauty to be able to pull off a short natural. I do not. I do not. And I think most black women do not. They do not. And for a lot of, I know me, I feel prettier with wigs or straight hair. I feel prettier. I feel more feminine with hair, wearing hair that mimics another race of people. Now, I personally believe I started most of this with, the, with my SBW channel. I started a bunch of narratives you really didn't hear from other people. And I said this exact same thing when I made that channel on one of those videos. They genuinely feel prettier with other races' hair, DNA, 
genes, appearance, aesthetics, silhouette. So what do you think that what do you think they think about other races of men? This is why it makes so much this is why so many black men are receptive to the idea of not dating Keisha's at all. At all. Completely cutting them off. Because it's too much. It's too much anti black male energy among there's less anti black male energy among Becky's. Because the Beckys who don't mess with black dudes, they don't mess with them. You know, it's easier for them to accept a non-black woman because at least they're being themselves. And don't you think a lot of black men will view this as disrespectful? What are you saying? That naturally, basically they're saying that naturally black men cannot have daughters who are as beautiful as other races of women. Your black men's daughters can't present themselves to the world in a natural state like other men's daughters can. So this culture, this Keisha culture, this wig culture, it's a, an attack against black men. That's how many of us see it. That's how I see it. How can you how are you gonna be in a relationship with somebody like that? And I know that's a shame. And I know that's some internalized self-hate. But listen, my eyes aren't fooling me. I And all this constant moving that hair out of the way, that's a whole different, that's not even her spirit. She ain't even supposed to be doing that. That's not even a part of you as a person. This is what turns a lot of black men off. Y'all afraid to be yourselves. You men don't want to feel like they're dating a sick woman. And that's what you make them feel like. You should do whatever you have to do to not make men feel like that. Feminine with because other Hector going to view, view you the same way. They'll probably look further down on you than anybody than black men. Hair wearing hair that mimics another race of people. And I know that's a shame. And I know that's some internalized self-hate, but listen, my eyes aren't fooling me. I don't look, okay? I. You know what it is. It's like I've been saying for years. When they wear their natural hair, what they see is a, a black woman who looks more like a black man. What they hate most is to resemble black men. Because it makes them feel like they look masculine. Again, you got this, the same scenario exists with other races of women. Black women resemble black men. Black women in that natural state resemble black men just as much as other races of women resemble their race of men. They look as masculine compared to those men. I'm talking about like Mexican women, they white women, they look just as masculine as their men, as black women look just as masculine or as much like their as black men. It's not like black women look more like black men than other races of women look like their men. No. You can clearly see the difference and tell the difference between a black woman in her natural state, between a black man in his natural state. Black women do not have increased or decreased femininity in their natural state. That's a figment of your goofy imagination. It's because you let other people shape your perception. That's a sign of weakness. That's weak. And that's why in the 70s, black men told you to stop doing it. If you're going to rock with us, you have to beat it with that self-hate. It's plantation. 
This, this is what I've been saying mentally. They're still on the plantation. I don't look that good in any style, but definitely when my hair looks what it looks like. See, that is, that is very disturbing and it's annoying. That constant moving. Why don't you just get the hair out in front of your eye? Why don't they get tired of constantly? You know why they don't get tired of moving that hair away from in front of their face? It's because they see other races of women doing it all the time. And they as black women view them doing this as feminine. They are extremely brainwashed. It ain't nobody going to bring y'all out of that brainwashed state other than black men. If I'm telling you now, black women, if y'all don't view black men as your Jesus, your savior and Lord and God on earth, you will perish. Perish. No man will want you, not even your men in this state. This is unbelievable. Natural. You know how some men, black men, they like a woman natural in theory. But if you put her side by side with a woman with a wig, they would they would choose a woman with the wig. No, you liar. That's what y'all would choose. Because black men already made y'all go natural. It was y'all's decision to go back to trying to look like Becky. Black men didn't con y'all back into that. And if you truly had confidence, y'all would go natural on principle and health reasons, both physical health and mental health reasons alone, without a care in the world, what anybody thought about you. But y'all always worried about what other people, other races of men, other races of people think about you. Don't tell black men, don't tell us what we think. We've been telling you what we think. We, I think a lot of black women are on that type of tip. We like our hair natural in theory. You know, we should like it in theory. We like it better on some. Should, what, what, what are you talking about? You should like it in theory. Every other demographic, male and female, do this. The whole world does this except for y'all. Black men ain't sitting back saying that they like natural women while black men themselves are unnatural. What are you talking about? We're saying we want women who do just like the rest of the world does. Because you look crazy. Why? See, a lot of people would think that this lady has a solid understanding. But she really doesn't. Because again, y'all not, y'all not the ones that you need to listen to. Y'all don't want to pay black men that much respect. Somebody else, but when it comes to us, we do not look feminine. You know, we do not look fe We do not look pretty. You mean you do not look like other races of women? And that is what you view as feminine. Other women. All black women look feminine compared to black men. And that's exactly what they don't want to be compared to. They want to be compared to other races of women. So again, I would sound like an idiot to ridicule any group of black men who say I'm done. I'm going to go overseas, do what I got to do. I'm done. Cause this is really too much. And the black community knows that we have that, we have those self-esteem issues. The black black men and black women, they know we have these insecurities around our hair. And instead of letting us be great, what do they do? Taunt and pit. And let you, you'll never be great. 
You'll never be on the level of these other women. You'll never be as attractive as these other women. You'll never be as attractive as a natural woman ever, ever. They'll always be above you. It's not us that's cutting you down. You're cutting yourself down. You're disgracing yourself. You're making a mockery of yourself. We're just calling it out. We're asking you questions, actually. Like, WTF are you doing? We ain't taunting nobody. We're telling you we don't want that. Just, they don't want to take accountability. And that's a serious part of this demonic spirit that they share. This self, this spirit of self hatred. I told y'all, these are real life demons that no other demographic deals with. Our women are possessed by demons. I don't care if you like that or not. It's what it is and I can prove it. They have an energy. What is that? A spirit that no other demographic male or female has. And it's the spirit of what? Self-destruction. Those are demons. The job of demons is to destroy the body that it inhabits. And once that body is destroyed, move on to another one esteem issues the black black men and black women they know we have these insecurities around our hair and instead of letting us be great what do they do taunt and pit and knowing knowing everything that we're going through knowing that for, for real for real i don't want to wear straight i don't want to wear straight hair but i don't look good with my natural hair well you know what you do take that stupid wig off and wear your natural hair until you like it. Learn to love it like black men did. Remember, we were doing the cult thing just like y'all. We view the most attractive types of black men in the early 1900s as black men with a perm, with straight hair, who look as much like Brad as possible. But then we went natural without a care in the world what y'all thought about it as black women. Or what no other race of women thought about it. And eventually black men were competitive with other groups of men. But we don't even look at how much we compare against other men. We don't think like that. Because we're not insecure. And the natural wigs, they look like, you know, who done it and why? I'm not trying to go to work looking like Mufasa. So I'm sorry if I let the cat out of the bag and I explain too much, but this is- If you look like Mufasa with your natural hair, then you look like it with a wig. I don't know what make y'all think y'all look horrible with your natural hair, but suddenly look beautiful with Becky's wig. Y'all have no idea how delusional that is. This, this is it. And y'all need to stop Listen, it'll never change. It'll never Okay, and you, I believe you. Which is why one in four you get married and it's getting worse. Y'all can do your little perm and uh, wig thing. Do your little extension thing. You're just going to be doing it alone.